A lot of camera manufacturers make a high-end cinema camera, the Ari Alexa LF, the Red Raptor VistaVision, the Canon C500 Mark II, Sony Venice and Sony FX9. When I got my Red Komodo, I finally had a cinema quality camera, capable of producing footage that could be used on Netflix originals or Hollywood feature films. However, it doesn't have a full frame sensor. Viltrox sent me their EF to RF speed booster to review. It's designed to work with the Red Komodo and the Canon C70, which are currently the only cameras with a crop sensor. It features a full set of electrical contact pins to allow data to pass between the camera and the lens, meaning autofocus and image stabilization will still work. It features a 0.71 times reduction of focal length, which reduces the Komodo's crop factor from 1.33 to 0.94, slightly larger than full frame. This effectively makes the Komodo sensor only 7% smaller than the Red Raptors. The speed booster also allows more light to hit the camera's sensor, which effectively makes all of your lenses faster. On the adapter, there's a micro USB port, which will allow you to update the firmware and keep the adapter compatible with new cameras and lenses. There's very little play in the adapter, certainly no more than the official Canon EF to RF adapter, which was included with my Komodo. If you're using a red Komodo and a camera cage, such as the small rig one that I'm using, you will need to unbolt the tripod mount from the bottom of the adapter. Are you ready, dear? Oh, we must be sure There's no turning back Once we're out the door Leave your message here On the telephone Cause we've no idea When we're coming home You might have noticed some chromatic aberration in the test footage, however that was mostly caused by the vintage lenses I was using, a Vivitar 28mm f2.8, an Optimax 35mm f2.8 and a Helios 44M 58mm f2. Some chromatic aberration also may have been caused by the variable KNF ND filter that I was using. Because of this, all of the following example footage has been shot with Canon L lenses and no ND filters. I've cropped in the image to match the field of view as we're only interested in looking at the optical properties of the speed booster. I noticed a bit of an increase in chromatic aberration in the trees, but I did have to crop the image into nearly 400% to see it. I couldn't see any loss of detail in the trees. Remember, the speed booster footage is cropped in to match the field of view, so if you see any difference in detail, it's probably from that. For the shots of Leah, I moved the camera around a bit to try and match the frame, rather than digitally cropping in the image in post. You can see from the background how the Canon 35mm is behaving more like a wide-angle lens when using the speed booster. You can see much more of the background than with the normal adapter. I also didn't notice a difference in colours between the speed booster and non-speed booster footage, which is a never good sign. When I tested the speed booster with my Sigma 24-105 and Canon L lenses, I did notice a vignette at the edges of the frame when using the full sensor. 
7x9 6K. As I mentioned earlier, the focal reducer effectively makes the Komodo sensor larger than full frame, so clearly these lenses don't have big enough image circles to work with open gate shooting. Open gate shooting means using the full sensor. My vintage prime lenses were all absolutely fine, but it is worth keeping this in mind if you're planning on using photography lenses and 17x9 6K shooting. On the subject of the Sigma 24-105, Whilst my Canon L lenses did work very nicely on the speed booster, the Sigma makes strange noises when I zoom in and out. It sounds like the aperture is changing, but it shouldn't be as the lens is a continuous f4 and it doesn't make these noises with the normal RF to EF adapter. The autofocus also doesn't work properly. It tries to do this one shot autofocus behavior, which is very unusual and none of my other lenses behave like this. However, to be fair to Viltrox, on the website they never claim that their lens works with Sigma lenses. On the website they are clearly showing Canon L lenses, so that's what this speed booster has been tested to work with. If you're looking for a speed booster for your Red Komodo or Canon C70, this Viltrox speed booster is definitely worth considering. It's less than half the price of the offerings by Metabones and Canon, and it's good optically. The only real issue is the slight chromatic aberration that gets introduced. If you're using Canon L lenses, vintage lenses or manual cinema lenses and you want a wider field of view as well as to make your lenses a bit faster, then this Viltrox speed booster is a great option, especially considering how much more affordable it is than the competition. If you're interested in any other equipment and already own some Viltrox lenses, Viltrox is running a photography competition with several thousand pounds worth of equipment to be won. You have until the 22nd of May to enter, and the link to enter the competition is in this video's description. How do I know when it comes off? It will fall off. <laughs>